Hi, I'm Julie Jordan, Wegmans Vegetarian Chef. Today I'm making vegan shepherd's pie, a delicious entree for you to pull out of your repertoire for any special occasion. It starts with a layer of seasoned mushrooms, and I really like cooking mushrooms at high heat. We're adding them to a pan with Wegmans organic olive oil. We're going to crank the heat up a little bit more. Let's be brave and daring here. That's how you get good flavor from mushrooms. We're going to some pepper, some nice Himalayan sea salt, and let's cook. Oh, if you could hear these sizzle. Be brave, keep stirring, and you'll get the best flavor you've ever had in a mushroom. This is going to take about five to 10 minutes till you get these knocked down and delicious. We're gonna transfer the mushrooms back to their bowl. And while we've got this beautifully seasoned pot from the mushrooms, we're gonna keep on cooking. I'll add a little bit more of our organic olive oil. We're adding chopped onion, chopped garlic, yum, yum, yum. You can never have too much garlic in anything, especially a really rich pie like this. Beautiful chopped leeks. This is a fanciful touch. Little salt and pepper. And while those are cooking, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite special vegan ingredients. I'd like to talk to you about tempeh. Tempeh is fermented soybeans. It originated in Indonesia when they wrapped soybeans in banana leaves and left them. The cultures in the leaves would grow and produce something that matted together like this. This is a delicious source of protein for vegans and vegetarians. It has many uses. One of the easiest uses is to slice it thinly fry it in olive oil or toasted sesame oil with garlic and use it on sandwiches. It's delicious. You can use it in stir fries, casseroles. And today what we're doing with the tempeh is we're crumbling it up. So we're crumbling it up to make a kind of fine filler for the shepherd's pie. When it's crumbled like this, you could make a filling for tacos. You could make vegan sloppy joes. Tempeh is just a wonderful, nutritious, delicious ingredient and you can buy it in these packages in the store and freeze it so that whenever you want it, you just pull the package out of the freezer and you've got a meal waiting for you. So we're using this crumble tempeh here in our vegan shepherd's pie filling. I'm gonna add maybe a little more olive oil so it doesn't stick. I'm gonna add it to the cooking vegetables. We have a dish here of fresh thyme. And like garlic, you can never overdo thyme. If I had twigs of thyme here, I could just stand here and strip them while I talk to you and I'd never have too much thyme. And you can use dried thyme also. Fresh thyme's great, but dried thyme is beautiful. So we're cooking this until the tempeh starts to brown and get a nice golden rich flavor. It's probably gonna take about 10 minutes. We've got this tempeh and vegetable mixture exactly where we want it. See how nice and lightly browned it is? It smells really delicious too. I'm going to add the mushrooms back to that mixture and stir it around. And voila, we have the bottom of our tempeh vegetable shepherd's pie. From here, it goes into a well-oiled baking dish. This is a 9 by 13 Pyrex baking dish, but if you have really beautiful baking dishes, bring them out. This is your chance to use them. Even if you put it in two, it's still really a lovely, lovely dish. I'm going to smooth that out. And we'll go immediately to the top level of our vegan shepherd's pie. I cooked these potatoes and rutabagas together in a pot of boiling salted water for about 20 minutes till they were tender. And these we're gonna mash with Earth Balance Vegan Buttery Sticks, which is a very lovely vegan butter substitute. I always love this step. It's my chance to be macho, roll up my sleeves. 
People use stick blenders for this. I like a good old-fashioned masher. This is fun. And if people ask me whether I like lumps, I say, yes, I do like lumps. Some of you might like to mash them more, but for me, this is perfection. So we're ready to put our potato rutabaga layer on top of our tempeh mushroom layer. Oh, this is so good. And each of these layers is delicious on its own, but you know what happens when you have two delicious layers and you bake them together. Something magic happens. That's what happens with this dish. You may also notice, looking at this, that I didn't peel the potatoes. And I'm a real die-hard hippie vegetarian. You just don't peel potatoes. Peels are beautiful and they're nutritious. Look at that. And that's before it's even baked. It already looks good. So I'm going to take this casserole dish, put it in my preheated 350 degree oven, and leave it there for about 40 minutes. One of the joys of this dish is that it's very forgiving. So if you're baking other things in your oven, it can be baked at a lower or a higher temperature for a longer, shorter amount of time. I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about one of my favorite vegetables, the rutabaga. A rutabaga is a turnip that's yellow. It's yellow and it also has a beautiful, rich, sweet flavor that you don't expect. And most people are a little bit intimidated by rutabagas. We picked a very unintimidating rutabaga for you. It's a little one, but they get big. When you get them in the store, they've usually been waxed because this keeps them, and it keeps them fresh for a long time. So you don't eat the rutabaga peel. You take it off. I cut the bottom off the rutabaga so it's nice and level. Then I cut the top, and then I take my knife and peel off the skin. You could not do this with a vegetable peeler. You have to take off a lot more than you'd get with a vegetable peeler. So a knife is your trick. And notice how, as you peel it, it becomes a much more ordinary, less frightening vegetable. It starts to look friendly. It starts to look sweet and delicious. And then once you've got it peeled, you can start cutting it. And to get it into the small pieces, for the vegan shepherd's pie, you just cut it across, cut it like this. It's been about 45 minutes. I'd say our shepherd's pie is done. And there we have it, vegan shepherd's pie.